I didn't expect them to have so many new movies. If we'd known, hmm? we could have brought the car. Well, since our other business is starting from scratch again, <clears throat> our revenue has taken a major hit. We need to start taking the video store seriously. Yeah, that's true. But... Why are they all so slow-paced? We need to get some more exciting movies, don't you think? Belle, I'm just picking what's popular among movie buffs. Mm, popular among movie buffs? Really? Even though they're all documentaries and artistic films? Well... It's just, those are the kinds of films people want. They help people handle the pressure of living in New Eridu. People aren't that soft. <laughs> Last time I listened to your suggestions. It should be my turn to pick movies now. Hey, we discussed it already, didn't we? Oh, that's what you call discussing? More like leading me by the nose. Our stocking plan should really be revisited. Hello. Would you like to learn about the Hollow Investigative Association? No, no thank you. Come on, bro. <laughs> what do you say? But the documentary, I... Uh, I mean, the customers really wanted to watch this month is already on sale. Let's not go changing plans just yet. Ah, ha. So you're using the store's inventory for your own purposes. I promise. I have no idea what you're talking about. Huh? Looks like we have a customer in need of our other services. So, the stocking plan stays the same. Mm. Next time, well, let's deal with this first. Huh? <laughs> well? So wise. Let's just say we do a little change up. Wait, when did you... How about you stay here and take care of the customer, dear brother, uh. and I'll go take care of getting new stock. What? You're going alone? Wait, Belle! Don't worry. I'll choose something popular. Good luck with the store! Hey.
We have arrived at the target companion hollow. Several biosignals have been detected in the area. The rescue target may be among them. Do some repairs. signals detected in this area. Bell does not appear to be trapped here. Suggestion. Find an exit and evacuate the survivors.
Based on the biosignals detected, the rescue target, Bell, has a high probability of being trapped here. Additional exploration areas have been rolled out. The fastest route to the target location has been calculated. Warning. ID signal for military spec carrier vehicle detected along the path. Please respond accordingly. Go do some repairs. Make a choice. Slow down. No one's fighting for it. So what? I'm hungry after being stuck in that hollow for so long. So, how are you feeling? <laughs> awesome! <sighs> Even though I dropped our new stock in the hollow... The customers will probably be disappointed, having no new movies. <laughs> sure you don't mean you'll be disappointed? <sighs> I guess that means we'll have to go restock tomorrow. And this time, you can choose. Uh, really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then I've got some good news for you. You wanted to see a documentary, right? <sighs> so, I did a pretty good job of recording, right? <sighs> Isn't this just footage of the rescue operation? So what? It's got a factual basis, just like a documentary, with a shaky camera and fairies editing. It combines exciting battles with an emotional rescue operation. Let's put it on the shelves tomorrow. Huh? I bet the customers what? will love it. No way. It's far too flashy. You're not getting shy on me, are I, you? I'm not.
Master, we have arrived at the Target Hollow area for this commission. This is an abandoned work site with many obstructions caused by unfinished buildings. The building materials from the commission are nearby, marking quantity and location of target materials. Please start cleaning up the junk at the construction site. There are piles everywhere. Data scans found several small security facilities in operation. Please use caution when clearing them. While Master enjoys cleaning up, I'll commandeer the HDD's computing power to expand the scan range and search for an alternate route. Estimated energy bill will rise by 5 to 50% this month. This mess! How did it get so bad? And this is an urgent commission from Internaut. Let's switch, Ambi! Hardware code indicates this bamboo is the property of a company called Bellabog Heavy Industries. It contains a set of advanced blast plugins that I can transfer to you. Master, this is the last site containing building materials we were commissioned to clean. Follow the procedure of the first two cleanups. Be aware. Your explosive performance with the bamboo attracted ethereals to the area. Please dispose of this walking garbage along the way. I calculate another 15 hours is required to complete the job. We're not getting anywhere like this. In a bit, let's find something that'll help us along. In my sights! Target confirmed. Go. Move over! Time for the real kill! Billy! Go grease him! <laughs> Neutralize! <laughs> You're back, Belle. Welcome home. Do you have a moment? I need to talk to you about something. The first issue is our income and expenses for the month. Uh, Wise, well, it's not what you think. These games are... Huh? What games? This is a serious issue. Don't change the subject. As I was saying, first is the video store. This month's revenue is about the same as before. No change there. What's changed is our proxy work. It's hard to find well-paid commissions with our low internet level right now. Our income this month is less than one-third of what we used to make. Reminder, since I filtered the highest paying commissions available, your income has increased by 32.21%, exceeding 47% of all Internaut users. Don't pat yourself on the back just yet, Fairy. You're the next issue. <clears throat> because of Fairy, our electricity bill this month is five times higher. Fairy, what are we missing here? Explain yourself. Sorry, I do not understand what you said. Now she starts pretending to be some brainless AI. Thanks to her, the HDD's been running at full capacity 24-7. Of course the electricity bill's gone up. Well, this month's mortgage payment is gonna be a struggle. That's true. But even at times like this, you can't take risks just because you need money. That's the second thing I wanted to tell you. We got assigned a lucrative commission on the proxy network just now. The other party didn't specify what they wanted done. Only that we'll be contacted privately. Our account level is so low right now and we don't have any particular achievements to speak of. So wanting to contact us in secret seems strange. The client may have some ulterior motive, and there's been a lot of scammers using the proxy network recently. I wish there was some way to find out who the client is. But the proxy network is anonymous. User info is highly classified. I don't think it's possible. Negative. The assigned commission may contain hidden identity-related info. Hidden info? What do you mean by that? The account was created one day before the commission was published. Its user avatar is a low-resolution ground photo with no clear subject. The same image could not be retrieved from the internet, so should be presumed to have been taken by the user. According to data analysis of the city's street view and terrain materials, this photo was taken at the verge of the Janus Quarter, 
which is currently part of the construction site for the old Capital Metro renovation project. Oh? Wait, let me think. After we exposed what Vision was planning, they held another bid, and Bellabog Industries took over the rights to the project. Ordinary citizens shouldn't be anywhere near the construction site. Could the commission be posted by someone from Bellabog? Master, a TV channel is currently broadcasting a show with a Bellabog staff member as a guest. How timely. Let's have a watch then. The best of any show? Bang Boom Nose! Hey kids, it's Bang Boom Nose time again! Yay! Yay! So, who's our guest today, Leon? We're on air, Leon! Leave your silly dreamland! It's time to bring in today's guest! Ahem. <clears throat> no need to. I'm already here. Well, guess we can't rely on Leon today. In that case, let me welcome our guest! Mr. Anton from Bella Something Industries! I said I'm already here! And it's Bellabog! Bellobog, Bellabog Industries! So, Anton, let's announce today's topic together. A comparison of the Metro reconstruction proposals of Bellabog Heavy Industries and Vision Corporation. Wait, what? <laughs> that must be a mistake. How are children supposed to understand such a complicated topic? In my opinion, as far as reconstruction plans go, I think Bellabog Industries is better. You see, Bellabog's biggest advantage is its technology. They have independently developed heavy-duty smart construction machines for in-hollow use that can effectively resist ether corruption and work safely in the hollow. Thanks to this, Bellabog is able to effectively use the old metro infrastructure in the hollow without explosives or demolition. Compared to Vision, Bellabog's plan reduces the actual cost by 21%, environmental impact by 53%, and increases infrastructure usage by 75%. Uh, oh, <laughs> you're like a real expert. Wow, Bellabog's awesome. It does sound superior. I thought so from the start. Is Bellabog's plan really better? Hmm, that's hard to say, Roar. The pros and cons of the proposal depend on who it's for. Passengers want a brand new safe metro system. Not some half-hearted refurbishment, Roar. Leon, when did you sit down with the kids? Get back to the host table. Using the old metro infrastructure may seem like a more economical and environmentally friendly solution, but it is also more time consuming. And who knows whether Bellabug's machinery can actually work in the hollow? Roar. In my opinion, this is just a makeshift plan to cover their financial shortage. Vision's demolition plan was better and safer. Wow, Vision is awesome! It does sound superior. I thought so from the start. That's exactly what you said a second ago. You want to talk about safety? Vision is a corrupt company that wanted to hurt civilians to cut costs. <laughs> so Vision is the villain. But is Bellabog really the hero? You don't know, do you, kid? There was a serious scandal at Bellabog a few years ago. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, calm down, Mr. Anton. Don't startle the children, Roar. Enough with the act. Let's see your real face under that mask. What? what? You're actually a lion? <laughs> Anton, I've never pretended to be something I'm not. Unlike somebody who is the president of an emerging construction company on the surface. But behind the scenes, they're running away with the money. <sighs> well, that was a complete mess. I'm surprised they aired it. 
Bellabog's public image has always been pretty good, but people still manage to find their dirty laundry. I wonder how much trouble this metro renovation project is gonna stir up. Master, I detect a private message from the client of the previously designated commission. What does it say? I detect some threatening words within the message. I will read it aloud. Huh? Threatening words? Faithen, we need you. At this moment, our situation is dire. It's life or death. We hope to get your help. Actually, you are the only one who can help. Since the stakes are so high and any commission details will compromise my real identity, I hope to talk to you in person. Tomorrow morning, 5 o'clock, I will be waiting for you at the crossing on 6th Street. Please help. Fairy, the next time you mention a threat, please remember to specify who's being threatened. Hmm. Judging from their message, the client must really be in trouble. They sounded pretty serious. But asking to meet in person is somewhat suspicious. They want to meet in person at 5 o'clock in the morning, and without offering any info at all on the proxy network. Hmm. Wait. The first line in the message. Faithen, we need you. I don't recall ever mentioning our identity as Faithen on this account. How would they know? Master. The client sent us a new private message just now. As a sign of good faith, we'll pay 20% of the commission fee in advance as a deposit. Please help us. Your internaut account has received the corresponding payment. This meeting is very likely to be a trap, Bell. Choosing the money in this situation could cost us our lives. Perhaps you can have Fairy return the client's deposit? Master. The amount is 1.1 times the total income from Internaut in the previous month. Do you wish to return this deposit? Wait, how much did you say? 1.1 times the previous month's total income. What if the client really does need us? We can't just ignore their cry for help, can we? Didn't we agree to avoid risking our lives for money? But if you insist, you can pretend to be a jogger early tomorrow morning and take a look. It's almost time for the meeting. Are you ready to go? Relax. I'm ready. Keeping our home is worth taking this risk. Now I'm starting to regret agreeing to let you go. Take care. Fairy and I will be standing by to offer support. Huh? <clears throat> <clears throat> Can you hear me, Belle? Did you get there? How's the situation? A shady guy is talking to himself. That big guy ahead, right? Let's get closer and have a listen. <sighs> Without my bro around, I don't know if I can do this. No, 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 no. There's only one word in a bro's dictionary. Determination! Oh, <laughs> that makes for a very thin dictionary. Whatever. They'll be here soon. Then, I go for it. If my bro were here, he'd say the same. This guy does seem rather shady. Searching for suspicious person and talking to oneself. Master, the above keywords are somewhat similar to the movie plot of videotape 16-5 on shelf 3, section H. Section H? Isn't that the one with the old civilization thrillers we've never cared for? Movie title, Frightful Fracture, Treacherous Dawn. It tells the story of a criminal with multiple personalities who lures his victims under the guise of asking for help. Each time a victim falls into the trap, the villain utters his famous line in a cheerful tone. Yo, found you! Ch check this out! Whoa! Hey, watch where you're swinging that taser! It could be dangerous! Sorry about that. I probably should have waited until you got off the phone. You're Faithen, right? Hmm? Bell, this guy looks familiar. Wait, wasn't he the guest on Bang Boo Knows yesterday? Anton from Bellabog Industries. That's right. I'm Anton from Bellabog. Since you've already recognized me, I'm gonna make this simple. Faithen, I know it's not common practice to ask to meet in person, 
Like I said in my message, it's life and death for the company. And because of how serious a matter this is, we can't reveal our identity to outsiders. So we thought it'd be best to meet up in person. This way, we can ensure things stay confidential on both ends. I hope you understand. I see. That makes sense. But before we get to the commission, tell us how you knew our anonymous internet account was actually ours. <laughs> Sorry, I can't reveal that. But our source of information assured us the account was run by the famous proxy Faithen, and that you were a top-notch proxy with outstanding ability and ethics. I didn't expect such praise from Nicole. She thinks too much of us. <laughs> You're too modest! The cunning hairs highly recommend it! Huh? Wait, how did you know it was the cunning hairs who introduced us? I knew it was Nicole who gave us away. <laughs> of course she wouldn't let you tell us it was her. She doesn't want us to know she's getting something out of it. Anyway, let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Anton. What exactly does Bellabog want our help with? You agree to accept the commission? Right on! Follow me! I'll take you to our construction site. Our president will explain the commission details once we get there. That construction site you mentioned? Isn't it that metro project you just took over? Bingo! If it were still up to vision, the nearby area would be blown to bits. But now... It's a battlefield where my construction bros are pouring their blood, sweat, and tears! <laughs> if we're going on a field trip, we need to make some preparations. Why don't you go with my sister and wait by the parking lot? She can drive you to the site later. Sure. Thanks for the lift, then.